Now, three sons of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh were killed in an Israeli airstrike in the Gaza Strip on Wednesday. Well, the Israeli military confirmed carrying out the attack, describing the three sons as operatives in the Hamas armed wing. Now, reports suggest that Hamas has stated it lacks the ability to locate 40 hostages needed for a ceasefire deal. Now, this assertion it raised fears that more hostages might be dead than previously believed. In the seventh month of the war, Hamas wants an end to Israeli operations, withdrawal from the enclave and permission for displaced Palestinians to return home. Hamas said the three sons of Ismail Haniyeh, Hazem, Amir and Mohammed were killed when the car they were driving in was bombed. Haniyeh, based abroad in Qatar, has been the tough-talking face of Hamas international diplomacy as war with Israel has raged on in Gaza. His family home was destroyed in an Israeli airstrike back in November last year. Relatives said the three sons and four grandchildren were making family visits during the first day of the Muslim Eid al-Fitr holiday in Shati, their home refugee camp in Gaza City. Israel will open a new land crossing into the Gaza Strip, designed mainly to facilitate deliveries to Palestinians of aid from overseas or neighboring Jordan. A spiraling humanitarian crisis has drawn pressure on Israel from its Western and Arab partners to do more to facilitate the entry of aid. Israel has gradually reopened two established cargo crossings. It's created a new crossing on its border. Last week, Tel Aviv announced it would admit Gaza-bound aid shipments at its southern port of Ashdod. Defence Minister Galan said a new crossing point would be created on the northern part of the Gaza border and it would reduce the time taken to truck in aid from Ashdod 40 kilometres away. And aid said the crossing point would be between the Israeli village of Zikim and Palestinian village of, Al, of As-Saifa. Pardon me. Israel has also helped set up a maritime corridor for direct deliveries of aid by sea and has opened its airspace to foreign pla uh, planes that have parachuted in aid for Palestinians. There has been disagreement between Israeli and UN counts for the aid reaching Gaza. Most people are homeless. Parts of Gaza face famine. Civilian infrastructure is devastated and disease is widespread. Now, countries in the region and the US have been on high alert. They are preparing for a possible attack by Iran in response to a suspected bombing by Israeli planes of the Iranian consulate in Syria on the 1st of April. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said on Wednesday that Israel must be punished and it shall be for attacking the Iranian embassy compound in Damascus. In an apparent response to Khamenei, Foreign Minister of Israel, Katz, said Tel Aviv will respond if Iran attacks Israel from its own soil. The US President promised ironclad support for Israel. Biden's promise comes despite his public criticism. Netanyahu over the toll on a civilians in Israel's campaign especially after a strike killed seven aid workers. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. We're going to do all we can to protect Israel's security.